Tonight, we are speaking with the husband of the woman who died in a plane crash last year in Chickamauga Lake. This after he filed a lawsuit against the pilot's estate earlier this week. Linda Marnello was in the passenger seat of a small aircraft when it crashed in Chickamauga Lake last January. And now her husband, Chris Marnello, says the pilot was reckless. Isaiah Kim Martinez joins us in the studio to explain why. Isaiah. Abby Latricia, it's been just over a year since that dark day for two families or two families, loved ones of the pilot and the passenger in the plane that went down. Now one family is going up against the other in a civil lawsuit. Chris Marinello says he still remembers his late wife the same way. She was a bright light. She was a star, right? I mean, anybody that met her knew that could tell you know, immediately. He describes Linda Marinello as a witty Jersey girl who was an avid teacher for 25 years in Hamilton County. She loved the underdog. She'd say, you know what, that's the kid that needs the most amount of help and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help him out. But her life was cut short in January 2019 when a small plane she was riding in crashed into Chickamauga Lake. Both Linda and the pilot family friend Frank Davey died in the accident. <sighs> I don't need the NTSB to tell me what happened. Marinello says as a pilot himself that he already knows. And that's why he's suing Davies estate for wrongful death. He says this was reckless pilot error, putting his wife in danger that could have been avoided. Anybody that flies that maneuver knows what the potential outcome is. In an initial report last February, the National Transportation Safety Board said a witness saw the plane do a, quote, tight U-turn at a low altitude, which he initially thought might have been aerobatics. The maneuver that Frank performed is called a wing over. Marinello is asking for $500,000 in damages. He says he waited a year to file the lawsuit to let wounds heal for both his family and Davies. But ultimately, Marinello wants justice. This is not about punishing anyone. This is about responsibility. We had talked to the pilot Davy's family last year. A family friend had told us that Davy was, quote, meticulous and always played it on the safe side. So he surprised Davy flew that day. Coming up at six, Marinello explains why he thinks this could have been avoided and why he believes timing ultimately led to the accident. Abby. Isaiah, thank you. We're told the final NTSB report could take a couple years to complete. You can find the preliminary report and the full lawsuit on our website at newschannel9.com.